Hey, in this video, we're going to go over on how to upgrade your storage on your Microsoft Surface Pro 9. Uh, the same process pretty much applies with all surfaces. Uh, and then we're going to get it from that 256 gigabytes to one terabyte. So here's the brand new Surface 9. Uh, right here, you can see that's where we're going to be replacing the storage device, which we'll get to that here in just a moment. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make sure that the power on this device is going to be turned off. But before we do that, we have a few backup options. You can use a hard drive just like this itself and just drag and drop all the files and you can plug that in into the side on that USB-C or you can use OneDrive. Um, this is personally what I use. Just back up all your files uh, online through the cloud and then you have nothing to worry about because once you install your new SSD, you'll be able to kind of continue from there. So make sure you shut down your PC. You're going to hold down that power button, swipe that down, and there we go. Uh, once that's fully completed and fully shut down, we are now safe to be able to remove that hard drive. So we'll go ahead and we'll close that up. Unfold that uh, flap all the way over there, that kickstand, and then we're going to pop out this drive. Super easy to pop out. Uh, on the Surface 9, it's just a magnet, so you just push it down. And then it should pop up just like that. And then you can just lift that up with your finger, slide that out, and then set that aside into a place. Uh, so this way you don't have to worry about it getting scratched up or anything like that. And then there's our beautiful Microsoft SSD. Um, so to pull this out, you're just going to use a, uh, uh, a Torx T3 six-star screw. Uh, it's going to look like this. I got a full kit. You can find these on Amazon. Um, and uh, it usually gets the job done. The SSD we're working with is an M.2 2230 SSD. Small, tiny, but mighty. Gets the job done, and this is what Microsoft supports. Uh, keep in mind, this is a really tiny screw, uh, so make sure you, once you've uh, put that uh, screwdriver inside of there, uh, make sure that it's snuggy duggy. You don't want to strip this screw, because then you're going to be put in a pretty bad situation. Uh, but... Don't worry, it's, uh, you know, you'll know when it's screwing and, uh, you know, when it gets. Then we'll go ahead and we'll uh, just put that in. Unscrew it, it's got to have a little bit of a factory seal on there. So that first initial screw may require a little bit of effort. Uh, but there you go, it starts giving pretty easily. It's really tiny though, so once you take this out, make sure you put this in a safe place, somewhere where you can find it and not lose it. Uh, pulling out the SSD is very simple. Um, you can try the sliding technique. Uh, don't do what I was just doing there, trying to peel it up with the screwdriver. Uh, if you have a guitar pick, that's usually going to be your best bet. And you can pry it up and pull it up a little bit. And then you can just kind of wiggle it out. Alright, so now we're going to pull in our new SSD that we're replacing it. We're going to double check to make sure those prongs look the same. As you can tell, it doesn't have that outer casing on it. Uh, don't worry, that's not going to be something that's going to brick your machine or anything like that. But uh, it is different, it just doesn't have that casing. You can get the same one from Microsoft, that's totally up to you. But as we're putting it in, we're going to put it in at a little bit of an angle. And then we're going to apply a little bit of pressure and it should click in. Um, on this example video, I did an improper install on it just to show you guys what it doesn't <laughs> need to look like. But uh, you'll see a closer shot right here. Um, it needs to go in a little bit further. That screw sh should be completely unobstructed. So this is a little bit of an extra step. As you can see, this casing uh, not only provides protection for the drive, but it also provides some thermal dissipation um, things. I guess that's the best word choice. So I'm using a silicone pad. You don't need to use this. Uh, this is a 0.5 millimeter. Um, you can just chop it up, make sure it fits your uh, SSD perfectly fine, and then you're just going to slap it right on the top before you put on that cover, and uh, obviously screw it in as well. Um, like I said, you don't need to do this. This is an extra step. Typically, these SSDs perform a little bit better if they have uh, some ways to kind of disperse their heat with that aluminum chassis, but... Uh, like I said, it's not really necessary. It's uh, just for the power users out there that want to go above and beyond. Now, as you can see, I'm going to be putting in that screw. Um, you know, you can work smarter uh, instead of harder um, and put in that screw before you put on that silicone. Probably make your life a little bit easier. Uh, but uh, I like to apparently live on the edge and uh, not see where I'm putting in my screw. But uh, 
you know, once you get that in there, um, then you're going to peel off that last bit of that uh, silicone uh, adhesive on the other side. And then we're going to simply just slide in and snap in place that hard drive cover. And on to the next step. So before we do the device recovery and we boot it up, we're going to obviously need to download Microsoft's uh, recovery. Uh, easiest way to do this is by going to Surface Recovery Image Download, which the link is in the description. You're going to put in your serial number, which would either be on your receipt or on the back of your Surface underneath the little kickstand. And then it will automatically download it. Then we need to make sure that we put this on our USB drive. Uh, first thing we got to make sure we do on our USB drive is we format it. So we're going to go to format, make sure that everything is looking the same, FAT32, uh, you got your sizes, you can label as recovery, and then you're going to hit start. Hit OK on that. And there we go. Now your format is fully complete. We're going to then go to our recovery. We're going to export the zip file so by opening it and then hit extract all. Gonna make sure we extract it from here. You can put it in whatever place that you'll remember that you've extracted it. Uh, in this situation, I'm gonna just put it on my desktop just so it's a lot easier. It will take some time. Uh, let it do its thing, and then we'll go ahead and we're gonna put it on our USB drive. You're gonna then open up that recovery drive open up that folder and drag all of those files into your uh, your drive not the folder itself like I did here because then you will have some issues when trying to boot up your device and then we go over to the next steps all right so this should be the easiest step we're gonna flip that uh, uh, surface around uh, so this way we can set it up uh, open that flap but what we're gonna need is a USB C to USB uh, for the actual USB drive itself unless you happen to have a USB drive that is USB-C uh, I'm just going to be plugging in because this is just what I had available and then um, we're going to go ahead and pop open that laptop or the surface we'll go ahead and plug in that USB and one of the more important things is we got to make sure we have that power cable plugged in as well. So what we're going to do is we have our volume controls and then we have our power button. We're going to hold down that uh, volume down and then press the power button. You don't need to hold it and you're going to let go once you see that Windows logo. Um, in this example, uh, I'm just showing this to you guys because typically it should pop up with the setup screen. I did receive a faulty drive the first time I was doing this setup, which was unfortunate. That's why when you're purchasing these drives online, specifically through eBay, just make sure that they have some sort of uh, return policy in place. Uh, so this way you can just return that one and then purchase yourself a new one. Yeah, it's a little bit annoying, but you're saving a lot of money by doing it this way. So if you did everything correctly, this is what you should see. We're going to go ahead and recover from a drive, which is our USB. We're going to do a full clean drive, and then we're going to hit recover. Uh, this process is going to take quite some time. Leave your device plugged in, leave the USB plugged in, let it do its thing. And now that the recovery is completed, you're just going to go through the setup start menu. You're going to put in your Wi-Fi, your going to go through the upsell thing that Microsoft does, and then uh, we'll be at the home page. So congratulations, go ahead and check your storage, make sure everything looks good like this in this page, and then go to your updates. Uh, make sure you go through, update everything, leave your computer in while it does this, and then it's going to go through its install process. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a comment if you have questions. Thanks for your time.